Hey Film Flips, Alan here again. Uh, today we are going to work on a or the Minolta SRT series lineup. Uh, I'm going to show you how to CLA uh, one uh, that will work on from SRT 101 up to the SRT Super. This one in particular that we have is uh, an SR 101. SR101 is the Japanese version of the SRT201 or SRT101B in Europe, I think. Uh, but this one uh, is the SR101. I think this came uh, directly from Japan. Uh, we are going to services, CLA. Uh, this one in particular uh, hangs, uh, the mirror stays up. From time to time so if you have a problem with that I'm gonna show you how to uh, CLA that as well also uh, I'm going to upgrade this uh, I'm not sure if you can see it but we are going to upgrade this to a uh, split focus screen because right now it's just micro prism uh, also I've uh, tested uh, this, uh, this body and uh, the meter is not working, so we're going to try to check to see if maybe we can fix that as well. Alright, so I uh, will start with the bottom part as always. If you're going to see a, uh, a, an SLR, always uh, go uh, first on the bottom part so that you can access the gears. And after that, uh, we are going to uh, clean the prism and then replace the focal screen. Alright, so what we'll do first is to remove the screws and take off the bottom plate. Alright, so once you've removed the bottom plate, the only thing you need to do is to uh, clean this portion if your mirror hangs. Uh, most probably that, uh, that's the problem here. So I'm going to put some uh, alcohol. What I'm using is 99% uh, isopropyl alcohol. That's the only thing you need to clean, All right? And then you can put some lube as well, just a drop. I think now I know why the meter is not working. The wire on the battery terminal is not soldered here. So I'm just going to solder this, cover up the bottom plate. And then we'll work on the top. Alright, so now we'll work on the uh, top uh, portion or the top plate. First thing we need to do is to remove the rewind knob. Alright, pull that. Open it. Find something to wedge the rewind fork here. And then you'll need a spanner to unscrew uh, this. Okay, and I'm gonna use this. That unscrews counterclockwise as well. Then next, we need to unscrew this uh, decorative retaining uh, screw as well. We are going to use a clamp spanner or wrench, clamp wrench that I use also for. Uh, like a cameras. Right on screws, counterclockwise. Just lift the advanced lever. Uh, normally, if you're going to see the uh, SRT series, uh, what you need to do is to uh, put the ASA on the highest and then set the shutter speed on bulb. However, we're going to replace the focal screen on this one. I would need uh, more tension or less tension on the on the shutter string or shutter uh, link here. Uh, I'm going to put the uh, shutter speed on 1000. All right, later I show I will show you why that I'll position this on 1 over 1000. Let's just unscrew it. Alright, 
only thing we need to do is to unscrew two screws here and that's three okay so we are going to unscrew the three uh, cross all right so uh, last thing we need to do is to take out this uh, uh, alignment screw uh, there's a decorative plate here uh, normally you can uh, just pry it out with a sharp tool but sometimes it scratches up that plate because that is actually just made of aluminum so what I do is I use this pliers uh, this is uh, the screw that you can use if the head is already stripped uh, the, um, the point you know, see it uh, it has something to grab the screw so that's what I'm going to use now and hopefully it won't scratch the body itself all right so once it's ready to loosen you can just use your fingers to remove it okay so now we will remove the top plate Nice. That's a real brass. So what I do after that is I put a tape here. So that that. And it come out. Alright, so we are going to take out the screws for the viewfinder. And simply lift this up. Okay, so we can clean that later. Okay, so next thing you need to do is to take out the retainer for the prism so that we can gain access on the uh, focal screen after we lift it uh, up the the prism. Uh, by the way, the CLC uh, that you see here stands for contrast light compensation uh, what that means is that uh, this uh, camera or the series SRT series can still give you an accurate uh, metering even if you're in a high contrast um, lighting uh, scenario what they did is instead of just using one uh, meter cell or photo cell what they used is two uh, meter cells here the trick that they did is actually they also placed another meter cell on the bottom part of the prism however this uh, cell here or meter cell here on the bottom part is twice as sensitive as the first one so this is actually a stop uh, more sensitive than the the first one and when the light comes in it averages the light that it's getting so that even if you're in a high uh, contrast lighting you won't have overexposed or if you're in a a low contrast you won't get uh, underexposed so that's how they did it okay so if you're going to just seal it you just need to take this out okay and then take out the prism retainer so if you're just going to CLA this at the prism you can just uh, pull this out and then use a blower like so and then just like that you're good to go and then maybe also clean the prism and then place it back but since we're going to uh, work on replacing the, the focal screen on this one I'm going to unsolder this so that I won't scratch it just so gonna take out the two wires now it's actually three okay and then this place here our prism Alright, so now the prism is out, the next thing we need to do is to 
take out this uh, cover plate. Now, I said uh, a while ago that we need to set this on 1 over 1000. The reason for that is that um, there is a guide here. Um, here. Uh, this one is the one uh, giving tension on the shutter cable. It goes around here, going here. So if I set that to bulb mode, you see here. Okay. See that? If the spring is here and I'm or and the guide is already here. Once we remove the mirror uh, top portion or mirror box top portion, that might pull the entire thread that's going on the on the shutter now. So that's why I'm going to set it on one over one thousand, right? So that I can lose that tension. Okay, and then we're going to take out three screws. Uh, this, this one, here, and here, and then we're going to lift this uh, mirror top portion. But before I can do that, I'm going to give some space here so that the thread can easily. There you go. taken out once we remove the screw all right so once you've unscrewed the three screws you are going to try to lift this uh, mirror top portion up okay so we now have access here and what we need to do is just to unscrew four screws here, 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 and here. All right, so now we can get the focus screen here. All right, and that's what, or it's a two-part uh, focus screen. You'll have first the glass. Right. and then the actual focal screen I'm going to replace this okay. as you can see this is the actual focal screen and this is the glass protector I'm going to replace this with this one I got this focal screen from a Minolta X700 right. that's what we're going to replace that since I have a lot of uh, X700 for parts, why not just use one, all right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace that, put that back here. And once I've uh, aligned all the, the thread, we are going to replace the prism lock, okay? All right, so as you can see, we have now the split focal screen. Uh, attached or in placed. Um, just a note, uh, be careful of the shutter uh, indicator. Apparently when I was uh, trying to put this back, it somehow detached itself. So uh, I'd have to take this out, this card or tamer so that I can hook, that, hook this um, shutter indicator back on its place so um, next thing we need to do is to put the prism back but before that we are going to place this uh, block out mask here making sure it's not touching the meter pants and then we are going to put the 
person back okay we are going to put this retainer here screw that into place And then we are going to solder these wires back. Alright, so after we've soldered the wires and somewhat uh, managed it, we are going to put back the viewfinder. Alright, and then we are going to put back the top plate cover. to put the screws to secure the plate and we are going to remove this tape okay and then we are going to put this retainer secure it with a spanner and then a rewind knob Okay, then shutter knob, then shutter plate. Okay, once you have it aligned, you can secure it with a screw. Last thing we need to do, well, not yet. Is in place, secure it with a retaining screw, lock it with a clump wrench, and last thing is the alignment screw. It's uh, tight enough. All right, so let's do a test fire. 160 and one second all right so that's how you uh, service CLA a Minolta SRT series camera by the way I've soldered the uh, wire on the meter on the battery and the meter is working I guess uh, one thing I can still uh, do with this is to put in a drop down voltage diode so that it can take uh, 1.5 and convert it to uh, 1.3 volts. Um, this camera will stay here in our workshop. This is going to be a test camera for the lenses that I'm going to service and also maybe do a test roll for this one. All right, so that's about it. Uh, if again, if you find this uh, episode uh, useful, just click on the like button. And if you're new to this uh, channel, hit the subscribe button. We do this every week. All right, Alan here again, and you have a good one.